It's a really good time to be a Foresight Central Bulldog right now. The team is 5-1 and one and just notched its first region win against North Foresight. Even better, for the first time in school's history, they've been voted the High Five Sports Team of the Week. Good day, Atlanta's Paul Milliken is live and coming this morning. And Paul, this has really been an unforgettable pep rally for them. Good morning. And for us, too, good morning to you. It's been unforgettable for us because we're doing it in the cube. This is a little bit different. So this is kind of the focal point of the host school. And what I love about being here is that, you know, we've got the hallways extending out from here. And I know there are students sitting in class thinking, what is going on out there? What is happening? We are shaking the entire school, which is what we like to do. Bulldogs, how y'all doing? <laughs> yes, that's what I like to hear. All right, so. Because we have the entire wall of humans right here, this I gotta tell you, I know why this team is so successful. Cause I'm scared standing in front of this wall of men right here. Behind them though, hey band, are you doing okay back there? Yeah. Okay, just wanted to make sure, just wanna make sure. Cheerleaders, how you doing? Yeah. Looking great this morning, and of course, the team of the week, our Bulldogs, how you guys doing? Yeah. Yes, five and one right now, as you said, Sharon, a huge turnaround from last season. Let's find out why with Coach Frank Kepler. It's great to see you. How are you? Great. Doing great. Uh, uh, I, I know you've got to be so excited right now. Again, a major turnaround from last season. You are on a roll right now. What's been the key to that success? What turned you around and got you guys on this path? Well, just the uh, perseverance of the young men, uh, the, the uh, administration here, the community, yeah. what support they have. Uh, er everyone is doing a great job. Uh, from our middle school who's playing in the championship game mm -hmm. uh, this coming Tuesday, and uh, to these people right here, they are, 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 are just people you want to be around every yeah. day. Football players, cheerleaders, band, it's just a community uh, victory. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I've heard that you've got a really strong set of upperclassmen leading the way on the field. Would you agree with that? Yes, our seniors are uh, fantastic, mm -hmm. both in the classroom and on the football field. So we're very proud to have this group. And, and again, our, our younger kids are learning from them, and, yeah. and they're just going to continue this on each year. Yeah, setting up that pattern of success. We love it. Let's come back next year. Let's do this every single year and make this school the team of the week. Speaking of upperclassmen, We've got a few right now. If you would introduce yourself. Uh, Dalton Edmonds. Great to see you, Dalton. Okay, so talk to, talk to me about what you think is the key to success for this team. What has been your strategy and your, your mental standpoint going onto the field this year? Well, we've just put in, been putting in a lot of hard work and in the weight room and on the football field. I mean, yeah. it's no surprise that we've had a lot of success this year. Yeah, the hard work definitely shows. Next up, tell me your name. Uh, I'm Tristan Rose. Great to see you, Tristan. What does it feel like to have the community support, people voting for you to be Team of the Week? Oh, it's amazing. I mean, we've been here for a while, the, the seniors, you know, and yeah. Coach, Ampl Coach Epler planted a seed a few years ago, and now it's nice to see the plant grow. You yeah, know? yeah, we love that. Last but not least, tell me your name, sir. I'm Garrett Nash. Great to see you, Garrett. So this has got to be a great way to have a senior it year, huh? It is. It's awesome. It's, it's the, um, for having three years of not, yeah, not winning, and then yeah. having this year we're winning five and one. It's, it's just an awesome feeling. Yeah, and you're just gonna keep going up and up and up. It's homecoming week. You're ready for homecoming, right? Yeah! That's what I thought. But we can't send you on to tomorrow's game without presenting you with the trophy. And to do that, this is breaking news. Biggest celebrity in the house this morning, Clark Kent is here. Clark Kent, look at this. Now, Clark Kent had kind of a rough morning and didn't quite get, you know, yeah, baby. Superman is here. Now, sir, I'm going to let you hand it off to the team. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up one last time for your High Five Sports Team of the Week, the Forsyth Central Bulldogs! Oh, and we got that music playing. We got the trophy being passed around. And we've got the entire school celebrating. All these kids in classrooms are thinking, what's going on out there? They're having a party, and we are, Sharon. We are so proud of this team, yeah. and we'll be following them for the rest of the season. In your face, reason to celebrate, Paul. Thank you. Congrats to them. Time right now, 922. Coming up on